Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I am going to talk about one of the Intel free tools that is Intel Processor Identification Utility. And here is the agenda. Why I am going to discuss this utility is there are some benefit of this tool. How can we verify if our Intel process supports Intel virtualization technology and how to verify Intel VT is enabled or disabled in the system? And what are the supported Windows operating system versions for this tool? And also, is there any Linux version of this Intel process identification utility? And finally, we can test it in our home lab. OK, and uh, why we are going to talk about this tool is uh, the main primary reason is a uh, few of our friends. Uh, they are doing some uh, home lab testings uh, during that time. They are having some challenges to install ESXi, but uh, as per our previous sessions ESX installation, we, we are aware that to install ESXi in our home lab or workstation VM, our uh, system must and should have enabled with a Intel VT. So to verify whether the Intel VT is enabled or not, this tool is one of the free tool to test it. OK, and not only in our lab systems or laptops, we can also test it in the servers also. Even if you are before installing the um, in Microsoft Windows Hyper-V, Intel VT enable Intel VT must be enabled in our motherboard server motherboards that time also we can use this utility to verify whether the VT is enabled or not that is one method and another method is we can go to the servers BIOS or laptop BIOS from the BIOS also we can verify so any method we can use uh, this is one of the alternate method using the free utility tool okay so the first two questions it gives the same answer uh, that is, uh, how can we verify Intel process supports uh, if Intel process supports Intel virtualization technology short form VT or another way? The question is how to verify Intel VT is enabled or disabled in the system. So the answer is we can use Intel processor identification utility version 6.8 to verify uh, if our system is capable of Intel virtualization technology. So using this tool, select the CPU technologies tab. Once we open this tool, we have a CPU technologies tab and we can see if the virtualization technology options are checked or not. If it is checked means it is supported and if it is not checked means our laptop or server, if you are using any uh, former or old model of servers, definitely if it is unchecked means it's not supported. OK, and the downloading this utility is pretty simple, straightforward. You can Google, you can type Intel processor identification utility in Google. You will find the direct link or else I will give the direct download link in our video description. OK, and the installation is pretty straightforward. We can download from the website, uh, Intel website and second step install and launch the identity identification launch and identify our CPU is supported for VT technology or not. OK, and another point is what are the supported Windows operating system versions for this Intel processor identification utility? So the operating systems are the currently it's supported for all the Windows flavors starting from Windows 7 until the latest version Windows 11 and server OS also it's supported from Windows 2008 R2 release to service pack 1 2012 2016 until 2019. Maybe the latest version 2022 this tool is as per the Intel website, they are giving compatibility until 2019. Maybe in the future edition, they may release for 2022 also. So if you are testing on client OS or if you are testing on uh, Windows above OS before installing the Intel, uh, before installing the Microsoft Hyper-V also, you can use this utility to test it out. Even in our home lab also, we can test it out. OK, so that is a point here and is there any Linux version of the Intel processor identification utility? But at present as per Intel, uh, there is no uh, Linux based version, so we can use this utility only for the Windows flavor voices only. OK, now quickly jump into our lab and we can test it. OK, I connected to our lab system. See here, if you open uh, search in the Google, you'll find the direct Intel link. So Intel processor identification utility Windows version and the version is 6.8 and the download is uh, just straightforward only 18, 18 MB file. I already downloaded and keep it ready for our local system and 
currently this utility is able to validate the products starting from Intel Core i3 processor and we it supports for i5 and also the i7 and latest i9 processor and also the server models like Intel Xeon process also we can verify. Okay, sometimes the servers are comes with Intel VT enable option and sometimes servers default laptop and servers Intel VT option is in a disabled state. That time we have to manually go to the BIOS and enable the Intel VT. But before going to BIOS, if you just want to quick check whether the VT enable or not, that time we can utilize this utility. Okay, and let's let me install this tool. This is very straightforward installation. So just .exe file only. So Intel processor identification utility next. And it is default installing on C drive. OK. OK, now installation is completed. Just click finish. So once installation is completed, we can see the icon in the desktop. So accept the agreement and click on S. See Intel process identification utility. It's trying to run it on our local system. And even this VT option, if we want to verify in our local system, normally the processor information, we can select the system properties and we can see the processor model and information we can find from the system properties. But here it is not showing the VT option. OK, uh, suppose this tool, we have a three tabs processor frequency within the processor frequency. We can find the information of CPU speed, system bus and cache information. And suppose if you select the CPU technology here, you can see the first option Intel virtualization technology. It is showing see this is virtualization technology allows one hardware platform and also hyper hyper threading option also enable and even virtual technology extension with extended page table also enable. So the our main key option is the first option and last option. So make sure VT should be enabled state and we also have some CPU ID data. Generally this CPU ID data is useful if you want to do any of the migration scenario any work, one workload to another workload migration scenario. We need a CPU ID information. OK, so hope you understand the CPU technology tab we can find. And currently this processor is 11th generation i7 processor. OK, and another method of verifying virtual technology enable or not just search in our Windows system. Look for your task manager. Suppose if you type your task manager, even in the task manager, go to the processor tab here. You can see virtualization is enabled. This is also alternate method. Either you can use this method or you can utilize Intel processor identification utility to verify specifically VT is enabled or not. OK, so hope you understand this point. Let me back to the slide. So that's it. That's it for today. Thank you. Thanks for your time. If you're watching this video first time, please do view like share and subscribe to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.